looking back at your time at Bolton as a player, what was it like to, to, play, in, to play in Europe in, in the UEFA Cup? To be honest, I was used to European football because uh, I've played in the Champions League with uh, Olympiacos, but uh, the feeling was different uh, with a club like, uh, like us here in, uh, in Bolton because uh, the club was used uh, year in, year out to have a, a fight, to have a, uh, to have a run for survival. And, uh, from uh, one year to the other, you, you could see the big difference that the, the club uh, has made, the big progress. And uh, you could tell that uh, uh, you could struggle for one year uh, for the Premiership, and the next year you, you could uh, go for the European spot uh, position. So it was a big difference for the club, and uh, I think it helped a lot the club uh, that many, many good players that uh, had played all around Europe uh, came to play for the club and uh, they helped a lot. Big names uh, in Europe and uh, very, very good uh, manager like uh, Big Sam. Uh, we had fantastic backroom staff, so everybody played uh, its role in the club. It really was a special dressing room, wasn't it? The likes of yourself and Ivan Campo and yeah, uh, JJ Koch, just to name just a few. That's just only a few. It was uh, Diufi, Fernando Hierro, Vicente Candela, Bruno Engotti, uh, Kevin Nolan, Kevin Davis, uh, Ricardo Gardner, Jussi Eskelainen in goal. It was an uh, amazing team. It, was, uh, it could be uh, <laughs> a mixture of uh, the, one of the best uh, European players that you could, you could pick in their position. So. That was not down to luck what we what we achieved in these days. And hopefully those kind of times can, can come back to Reebok. Yeah, I think that uh, you see the stadium and the, the facilities that uh, the club has for the first team and for the academy that because I've been there, I've seen a lot. You could, uh, you could say easily that uh, the club belongs to the Premier League. No question about it. So I think it's a matter of time, and uh, the club will uh, will come again to play Premiership football. Do you remember one of your goals you scored at that end against Derby County, where you, you chipped the goalkeeper in the yeah. last minute? Was was that a special moment to see the Reebok stand to its feet to get that three points? It was uh, that game was a must-win game because I remember very very well. It was uh, we were struggling at the moment and we were desperate to take the three points and uh, to score that uh, that winning goal was 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 brilliant for the for the club first and after for me because the club uh, goes first always and um, i was very very lucky to be the one to score that uh, winning goal uh, i think that uh, these are the memories that uh, you remember when you <laughs> retire you also scored an important goal at Tottenham Hotspur as well yeah, that's my last goal for the club. Uh, we were, uh, it was uh, nil-nil, and uh, we got one nil up, and after that uh, we got uh, equalised. But I think that was the point that uh, rescued us for the, for sure in the in the Premier League. So <laughs> I'm happy to be the one again. So <laughs> um, it's. It's always nice, and when you see now and uh, you sit back, and relax, and uh, you can go back in your memory, you you remember unbelievable things. Do you still look out for the, the Bolton Wanderers scores when you when you're back home in, in Greece? Yeah, yeah, I follow the club. You know, with uh, the television and the internet, everything is very very easy in these days. So uh, I follow the club and uh, I follow the, the results and uh, everything. Yeah. And finally, if you could give a message to the Bolton Wanderers fans that are watching this. What would you say to me? I have no words. You know, I'm uh, speechless. Every time I visit the stadium to watch a game and go in the, the half time and uh, have a wave to, to the fans, the reception I get is uh, fantastic. So I have very, very strong feelings for, the, for them, for the club, for everybody here. I have no words to express myself now. So I love them, they know that, and uh, they have the chance to show me that they love me as well. So it's a very, very good uh, relationship and uh, 
these are the moments that uh, you can say that they're priceless.